Ну, вот так. Ну, who need to have access to dialysis get it, especially if there's any delay in opening for Monday. They are working flat out because normally people will be coming in all day tomorrow, so they're going to be working here probably like tonight. And what they also have encouraged those patients to do is to turn and listen to the hurricane station 100.1 because even if there is any um, other unanticipated emergency there are special diets that people should be um, keeping to so that they can reduce the fluid risk and all the rest of it but certainly it's they're certainly working flat out they're busy they're committed and it was impressive that they took the time despite their schedule to have a few minutes to talk to me and advise me of what they do you obviously were sensitive and were kind and respected the patient's right to privacy, but they certainly are, are busy and look to be busy for the next several hours. And I think it's what, what the leader has to do is to continue to be the good leader, to look out for those people who need help, to check on the seniors in your parishes and to offer help. They also have taken, in terms of the dialysis unit, taken some proactive measures and preemptive measures with regard to water supply. So I think that all around the country there are pockets where people are doing a lot of action to prepare and also to make sure that they also look out for those who may be more vulnerable. And that's what's important, especially at this time. How did you make these visits today to the various businesses and residences? I think that whenever there is a hurricane or a storm, I think there is a need for people to be out and about, not just at the premier level, but just in terms of just being good neighbors. And I think that certainly for me, too often the focus is purely on the Minister of Finance, which is a role that I very much respect and hold dear to me. But there's also the premier role, which is more important, and it means that you've got to be the de facto commander in chief when you're not talking about revenue and police and make sure that people know in, in real terms the, that there is a concern and that also from a government point of view we're taking active involvement and engagement. For me what is important is to touch people where they are. So it isn't always about giving an advance notice. It's just taking taking time out. I was scheduled actually to be on vacation from Thursday to Sunday, but I decided that I wouldn't travel. This is the first hurricane out of my watch, and certainly would have been, in my view, um, imprudent and irresponsible. So my diary was clearer than it would normally be yesterday and today. So it also allows me to have the time and the freedom to go out since I was on vacation. Maybe about, um, obviously, that 
so next week, you know, I'm, I'm supposed to be traveling for the C3 Summit in New York. Hopefully it will be better and so it's such that flights will be on running on schedule. But at this time, I have free time and I certainly want to go out and see how people do it. Have, I think it's important. Have we received any offers of assistance from the Caribbean and the UK in the aftermath of Leslie, if, if um, necessary? I think that what you always hear is that both in terms of the Caribbean and the UK, given the fact of the responsibility as an overseas territory, that there are always problems to that's, 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 that's automatic. What we do know is we look at what we have in terms of our resource capacity, the EMA measures and the organization has been leading consistently for the last few days. They'll meet again this afternoon. And certainly the commanding officer, the Commander Police Commissioner, and others are all on standby and will be taking action so that they have the necessary resources. And if we need those to be augmented, it looks less likely that that may be, but if, that's the, if it is a need, then I have no doubt that there will be assistance provided. The government has already advised that should there be a need, they will certainly use their good offices to facilitate. And it's no secret there is an election coming up. Are you at all concerned that this might be perceived as what is called election year? heard a lot recently from the OBA on the state of finances. Could you please comment on that, on that in particular the state of economic development? What we are in is a state of standing strong for the needs that we have need. And this government has consistently stood strong and supported the needs, both in terms of preserving jobs, both in terms of assisting to with regard to payroll tax relief and also hotel concessions. And this government will continue to stand strong, both pre-election and post-election. And the question of finances, you can't just be irresponsible in terms of just seeking photo ops and, and media by sound bites without also providing constructive solutions. And with the greatest of respect, talking about um, say, um, an additional $90,000 in the 2012 13 budget, the GP cards, isn't going to renew deficit. It's not going to do it. So you've got to go read. Let me have people making comments. We have a responsibility, even as a leader, to challenge them. Because it doesn't make sense just to listen to a lot of comments and act as if it was the sermon on the map. It doesn't work. The government has a responsibility to stand strong for the people of Bermuda and for businesses at a time of economic dislocation. And that is exactly what we have done and will continue to do. Thank you. Thank you.